This code sample includes a background.html file as well as a content script here within the manifest file we define the content script here we have one content script that includes one JavaScript file that applies for every web page that its URL address match this pattern. In addition, this manifest file also defines a page action, a very simple page action. If we go over the script, the content script, JavaScript file, we can find a simple script that tests the content of the web page the user browse and check if it includes any match with uh, this regular expression. If it includes a match, then we can find a call to the send request function invoked on Chrome.extension object. Send request function, in this case, we pass over two arguments. The first argument is just a text, the second argument is a function, an anonymous function with one parameter and very simple code. Here within the background document, as you can see, we have a background page, background.html. Here we have um, a function defined, its name is on request. We also have a call to the add listener a function on the home.extension.onRequest object. And the argument we pass over is the reference for the object that represents this function a function with uh, three parameters. Here in this code we actually ask that this function will be invoked each time a request is sent from a content script to the background page. Here if there is a match then a request is sent. This is the text that is sent and this is the function that is sent or let's to be let's be more precise the send request function we invoke gets two arguments the first is a simple string value and the second is a reference for an object that represents this anonymous function and these two arguments are accessible within the onRequest function. The first uh, argument is um, the request message text. So when this function is called, is invoked, we get a small alert with the string request message. And then this code actually um, invokes the page action defined in our manifest. In this case the page action is just a simple icon with a title. Then the last line actually use this uh, parameter which is actually a function and invokes it, invokes that function we actually mean this anonymous function. So passing over a was fu was found string to the function we invoke using send response, we actually send that text over here and indirectly make it appear on screen using the alert. Let's reload 
this extension and see how does it work. Let's browse a simple um, web page that doesn't include the, the Abelsky string. As you can see, nothing happens. Now, let's um, browse another page that includes the Abelsky string in this website. As you can see, the first alert presents the request message text. It is the alert invoked over here and it presents the text that was sent from the content script, uh, this text. Then the next alert, Abelsky was found, is the alert invoked here within the anonymous function that was passed over to on request into this parameter. So send response passing over Abelsky was found actually pass Abelsky was found into response str which is then displayed on screen. As you can also see we here have the icon the icon of our extension, the icon that was defined over here as a page action.